Hello everybody, we're Show Me Go Explore here with another beautiful location to show everybody at the folks at home. As you can tell, we've got a nice little light snow drift happening while I take this video, so it kind of adds to the aesthetic of what we're doing today. Today we have a beautiful church that we're going to film for you people watching. I'm starting around here in the back, as you can see. It's a pretty long little building, gorgeous on the outside, very gorgeous on the inside. We'll find that out for sure. You can see the steeple on the front there to the right. And I'm just kind of taking a shot from the back and we're going to do a walk around because I want to capture the other the whole sides of this. One side is built directly next to the, the houses there. So I won't be able to go down that little alleyway. But I can give you three out of the four sides of the church as we do this. And again, it's on a, next to a busy street. So we'll probably hear some cars and vehicles and possibly some passerbys as I take this video and like I said a real quick this wrought iron gate is just beautiful I, this thing has been here since the test of time probably in the early 1800s when mid 1800s when this church was first erected I'm gonna walk around here and show you this new little neat little staple of the structure itself now you can see there I'm gonna zoom in real quick and I've got the two bells the first bell, the smaller bell on the right, was put on, added to this church in 1860. And then in 1887, they attached the larger bell to the church. And UCC does stand for United Church of Christ. So this is the, this particular sect of the church. There is a plaque there in the front. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. I'm not... Yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to read that, especially with the snow falling. And I am gated out right now, so I'm not just going to hop the fence to go look at it. But these bells are added to the outside of the church right now, because in 1984, 85, it was considered the steeple wasn't intact enough to hold the bells. So they decided, instead of completely discarding the bells, to build this nice little brick structure to hold them outside in the back. In the, in the back excuse me. I'm starting to get chilly. <laughs> and... Um, that way they could still preserve that particular piece of their church and their history and the town and all that within. So I'm just gonna keep walking around and film as I do. You can see the, the sidewalk is starting to turn a little white from the snow drifts. And I'll kind of get a shot upwards a little bit through the trees here. But yeah, another neat part. I wanna show the front of this gate. This beautiful wrought iron we have here, these little signs. You can see where it says evangelical and the Kirsch, Kirsch, I think, which I believe might be, uh, you know, again, being a, being a Church of Christ, this was a Lutheran sect, which means that it was founded essentially by the German-speaking folk of the town. So originally the sermons were conducted in German and years later converted to English as the times changed and the language didn't really you know, change as well, I guess, to a point. And so... Yeah, I'm just like I said, I'm going to kind of get snow in my eye, but I love it. And we're just going to kind of keep filming here. And I want to show you this other neat little part structure of the, of the church. This is the cornerstone. And again, see, the German EV is for evangelical. Evangelical, evangelical, evangelical. I guess it depends on what part of the country you're in, church. And the church itself was funded in 1853 it says 54 here on the corner stone stone excuse me again uh, but the 1915 is the date the first corner stone that this this part was placed when this building was erected there's been a lot of a lot of construction reconstruction to this church and this spot over the years since the 1850s stained glass windows real quick and we'll have a lot more of the description on the, or a lot more about the church in the description part of our video down below it's like there are a lot of like I said informations and details to to discuss but right now I just want to get an exterior shot as we do a walk around of this beautiful beautiful place and like I said we're coming up now on the front of the church you can see there see today it is indeed the evangelical United Church of Christ yes I do miss summer especially as the snow is falling on us right now as I film I'm ready for spring, I'm ready for summer, but yeah, look at that up there, beautiful, beautiful steeple, and then yeah, we'll walk around, and I'll kind of do a quick, like I said, walk around to the side a little bit, but it is kind of gated off, so 
I don't want to, I can't get the entire side of it up here, but there are stained glass windows on this side. And with stained glass, it's easier to see inside than it is out. So we'll, we do have permission to be here, of course, like we do all of our videos and film. And we will plan on going inside as well to capture that. But last, I want to step back and just get this beautiful front of the church all the way up there. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm going to walk up here too and show you these really neat, really neat iron doors that have been here since the beginning. Look at that. We've got the crosses on the front and then these, this memorial plaque. So, okay, folks, I'm going to cut this video short real quick right here for now. But thanks again for watching. Check us out, Show Me Go Explore. We're on Facebook, YouTube, of course, Twitter, Instagram. We'll have more videos to come of this beautiful place. And we'll see you all real soon.